In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why the Balinese cat may not be best for you. The Balinese and the Siamese are closely related and they share many traits. Like the Siamese, the Balinese is curious, outgoing, intelligent. They're very chatty and they're always eager to tell you their views on life. But this cat may not be best for you and in this video, we have seven reasons why. The first reason the Balinese cat may not be best for you is because they are a very active cat. This is a medium sized cat that's well built, muscular, and likes to be on the move. So if you're someone that wants a cat to just lay by you and chill out, this cat may not be the best. They like to be active and it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you fulfill those needs for them. Get them a cat tree, make sure that they can jump up on high places, stay active, play with them, because if they don't get played with, then they can get very frustrated, have anxiety, and really take it out on your house, furniture, different things within your house that can just be pretty frustrating. So if you want to own this cat, just know they're active and they're going to look to you for playtime. Number two reason the Balinese cat may not be best for you is because they are an indoor only cat. Most cats should be indoor only, but especially a Balinese, because like we said, they're active, they're strong, they're curious. So this cat will want to be going outside, but when they go outside, it's usually nothing but problems. Different diseases can get in cat fights, can injure themselves. So it'll be up to you as the owner to try to wrangle this cat in and keep them happy inside because they're always going to be wondering what's out there and what could they be doing. The Balinese is curious, active and strong, and this drives them outside. So it'll be up to you as the owner to keep them inside. The number three reason why the Balinese cat may not be best for you is because they are known to be incredibly smart. All cats are pretty smart, but the Balinese especially smart. So it'll be up to you as the owner to give them mental stimulation. That means playing with them, lasers, fake mice, keeping their mind engaged. If you don't want to do this or you just want a cat that's going to be chilling out, doing their own thing, then the Balinese is not for you. They need you as the owner to be playing with them and keeping their mind active as well as their bodies. So it's a little bit more maintenance than most cats. This is a special cat that's going to be looking to you as the owner to help fulfill those needs. Number four reason why a Balinese cat may not be best for you is because they are very affectionate. This cat wants to be by their owner more than most cats. So again, if you're looking for a cat that's more independent, doing its own thing, then the Balinese is not for you. They're going to be near you, want to be pet. They're very vocal. They're going to want to tell you what's going on and what they need. They can be more high maintenance than most cats. So if that's not what you're looking for, you should look to another cat breed. But if you're okay petting this cat all the time, having this cat like a Velcro cat right to you, then the Balinese would be perfect. The number five reason why a Balinese cat may not be best for you is because they are not independent. We keep saying it, but it's important to know. This cat's not going to do much on their own. Some cats, that's all they like. They like to be under beds, hiding from people, but this cat will be out in front with your guests, with other people, with animals, other cats. They want to be right with the action is and they want to be with you, the owner. So if you're okay with a cat by your side all the time, then a Balinese will be perfect. But if you want a little space or you want your pets to do their own thing once in a while, then a Balinese will not be a good fit for you because they'll be right next to you, drinking coffee, eating, anything you're doing, your Balinese will be right by your side. Number six reason why a Balinese may not be best for you is because they don't like change. If you're going to go through a big change coming up, a Balinese cat may not be best for you. If you're moving to a new house or expecting a new baby or going to add a new dog, then a Balinese just isn't good for you. This is a sensitive cat that really likes its owner and likes things the way that they are. They don't do well with major change. So if no major changes are coming, the Balinese could be a great fit for you. But if you know things are coming up, maybe wait and then get a Balinese cat so that they'll be happy and healthy and definitely be thriving. The number seven reason why a Balinese may not be best for you is because they are a very vocal cat. Did you know that when cats meow, it's not for other cats, it's for their humans. They've developed a way to get a human's attention and the Balinese have perfected this. They're going to let you know when they're hungry, hot, want to go outside, want to come inside. They're going to let you know it and because they're going to be by your side most of the time, it won't be hard for them to get your attention. So if you don't want this and you don't want a cat always telling you what to do, then maybe another cat breed would be best. 
But if you're okay with this cat being around you, being athletic, and being very smart and always getting your attention, then the Balinese could be perfect. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Balinese, and we'll see all of you on the next one.